Hello everyone, my name is Ankit Shivastav and today we will be discussing how to calculate running total using SQL. Running total is also called as cumulative sum. So let's understand the problem first. Okay. Suppose we have a table called sales in which we have columns like sales ID, sale day and sale quantity. So we can see here on 1st of Jan 2022 my total sale quantity was 1 okay and on 2nd of Jan my sale quantity was 2 okay now how we want the output we want to calculate the sum of current row as well as the previous row so that is what running total means right so on first as the sale quantity was 1 so my running total is 1 on 2nd of Jan my sale quantity was 2 so my running total is 3 that is 2 plus 1 correct now on third my uh, sale quantity is 3 so my running total is coming and will become 6 right my current row and the sum of the previous row correct so 3 plus 3 6 okay hope you understand the problem now today we will also be discussing how we can use unbounded preceding and unbounded following with this windowing functions okay so let's quickly jump on SQL okay so in our sales table we already have data which we have just discussed now okay so let's calculate the running total first and then we will go for unbounded preceding and unbounded following okay so I want sale day okay comma sale quantity okay we will be calculating sum on sale quantity over order by sale day okay as running total okay one thing uh, you need to keep in mind here generally we go for partition by when we, whenever we are using over okay here we don't want to calculate the sum based on some group right we just want to calculate the running total and that is the reason I have used directly order by okay so let's execute this and see what is the output correct so this is the output we are getting so on first the running total is 1 on second my running total is 3 2 plus 1 3 on third my running total is 6 that is 3 plus 3 correct now let's discuss how we can use unbounded preceding and unbounded following okay so uh, for understanding purpose we will be using count here okay as you can see we have only 10 rows so it will be uh, easy for us to understand okay so let's write down the SQL statement count of cell quantity over order by cell day okay now we will be writing rows between unbounded preceding and unbounded following okay as this is the column name we want to get in the output okay let's get the result order by sale day in ascending order so even if you don't try and a uh, don't write ASC by default it will give you uh, the rows in a ascending order right so let's understand this what I am doing here I am calculating the total count right on sale quantity column okay so what does this mean 
unbounded preceding and unbounded following. So in a simple plain English, just understand, we will be getting the output here as total number of rows before and after the current row. That's it. Very simple to understand. Total number of rows before and after the current row. Okay. So what is the total number of rows we have here? 10. Correct. So we will get 10 for each row. Correct. So let's execute this. See, we are getting here 10. Correct. Now let's execute the second option here. So what is the second option? Count. We will be using count only and uh, over order by sale day rows between unbounded preceding and current row. Okay. So current row. Uh, now now understand what is the meaning of current row and unbounded uh, preceding. So that means total number of rows before the current row. Okay. So what will be the output for this statement? We will get the total count of rows before the current row and that will include the current row as well. Correct. So let's execute this and see what is the output coming. See, here we are getting 1. Why? Because our statement here is total number of uh, rows between unbounded preceding and current row. Preceding means before. Just understand like that. And current row. So what is the row before the current row? So it's 1. Correct? On 2nd of Jan, so what is the total number of rows we have? Bit, uh, total number of rows between current row and before that. So it's 2. Correct? Similarly for 3, we are getting 3. Understood? Okay. Now, let's execute the third statement. That is, rows between current row and unbounded following unbounded following okay so rows between current row and let's make it unbounded following okay let's change the column name now what will be the output in this scenario we will get the total number of rows from current row and rows after the current row okay so what will be the output let's first execute this and discuss perfect so you can see the last column here on 1st of Jan 2022 we can see that the output is 10. How? We are calculating the total number of rows from current uh, total number of rows between current row and after the current row. So after and the current row we have total 9 and 1. So we are getting the output as 10. Similarly for second chain we have total number of rows as 9. Correct? Hope you understand this problem and please like, subscribe and share among your friends. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching the video.